Hello and welcome back to JPP, Japan's Perfect Pens. My name is Richard and today will be another Namiki Emperor review. So today's pen is the Namiki Emperor Shijin, which is the Four Gods by Masaru. This pen was made in 2020 and the limited edition is of just 99 pieces. Now there's a lot of content in the Shijin. Principally the four gods are the dragon, the phoenix, the turtle and on the reverse side the tiger. But we'll get into those one by one individually later. So the pen itself is a flat cap and barrel Namiki Emperor which means it's an ebonite eyedropper pen 17.5 centimeters long. It doesn't have a clip and it has a two-tone size 50 18 karat gold Namiki nib. Now the flat cap one is just slightly larger than the rounded cap and here you can see it with the nib with the two-tone rhodium plating on the Mount Fuji emblem which we'll again look at a bit later in the video. So the principal makie technique used is togedashi taka makie which is burnished raised makie. On most of the emperors you'll find this. It's the makie which is raised up using charcoal and urushi to create various shapes and textures so that you can have a 3D form and the light reflects from the side. So here we have the pen itself. Now we have to go all the way around it to see what's on it. So if we start here, you can see there's a blue dragon. There is a red phoenix there on the right hand side, which is the bottom. There's some fire underneath the phoenix. Appearing at the top left here is the turtle. In the center is the compass, which we'll talk about later. And as we turn it round, here comes the white tiger, which is the fourth element just here. Now, if you look on the left hand side, you can see the light reflecting quite nicely. So there's some very easy to see evidence of the um, togedashi taka makie, the raised makie. Um, so the dragon scales as well, you can see they're individually raised. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go through each of the four shijin, the four gods, one at a time, and just talk about those and what their significance is, and then we'll talk about the pen as a whole. So to begin with, here is the white tiger. That's called Byako, and the tiger represents metal and its direction is west. Now these are the cardinal directions of feng shui. The tiger is the guardian of west, and the element of metal represents fertility. So here he is on the side of the pen looking quite fierce with the black stripes and the white fur. Now the next one is Susaku which is the phoenix. Now the phoenix unsurprisingly is the element of fire and the cardinal direction is south. Actually you can see it's at the bottom of the pen. And aside from being the guardian of south the fire element also represents beauty and intelligence. So that's the phoenix. Next is the blue dragon, which is Seiryu. Now the element of the dragon is actually wood, which represents wealth. And the dragon is always represented with a snake-like body and it represents the most important direction, which is east. So it's just actually to the right of the compass as well. Now finally, we have at the top of the pen, which is appropriate because it's north, is Jembu, the turtle. Now the turtle has long been associated with water, of course, and longevity. So turtles live a very long time. It's the guardian of north and its longevity. So that's how the four elements combine with each other. So just having another look at the Makie work, there's that fabulous blue dragon with all the scales. And here at the bottom, you can see the feathers of the phoenix very nicely showing up with the raised makie there compared to the flat makie at the bottom so the phoenix is in front of those fires again that's the combination of the different effects the tiger again raised it's in front of the background and here's the artist signature and the kokakai signature at the bottom now because there's so much going on cleverly they use this space here in the middle just to have black with a few specks of gold and just the occasional speck of raiden so as not to take attention away from the gods whereas on the Emperor Dragon here, where there's more space and less elements, they fill it with stronger Raiden, with these swirling patterns of stars, with this night sky effect. So it's just taking into consideration the pen and balancing it by not putting too much in there and making sure the gods are the main topic. Okay, so 
and screw it here and here is the size 50 18 karat gold two-tone nib with the rhodium plating on the Mount Fuji snowcap and we'll talk a little bit about that in a second so just rotating around here so it's a very large nib as with all the size 50s and the back is plastic feed coated with urushi and the section there has got the same gold patterning just so it doesn't stand out from the rest of the pen now like I said size 50 nib 18 karat gold they write very smoothly they have a wet flow controlled by the valve there's not a lot of feedback on these pens unless you have them modified to give you more feedback but the overwhelming thing is it's a massive pen that's well shaped for a big hand and it's a massive nib so your fingers are a long way away from the paper and some people fall in love with this writing style immediately upon using them but other people it's quite unwieldy so you've really got to try one in your hand and see if it's a good fit for you if it is a good fit then it's a wonderful writer it lasts for absolutely ages because it has such a huge ink capacity that nib is absolutely beautiful to write with you get a fair amount of line variation just from the fact that it's so big take a look at my dedicated writing sample review video I'm linking to it here I write with three different Namiki size 50s and I talk about how it works so take a look at that video if you want to know more on that now with a limited edition of just 99 pieces most people who have one of these will never write with it but these pens are made to be written with and I write with my Namiki Emperor Goldfish and I absolutely love it so for the few of you who do want to write with these pens it's absolutely fantastic experience now let's take another look at the elements so let's now focus on the compass so you have the four cardinal directions so the first thing you can see is that the compass has colors pointing to the creature of its direction so it's got the red at the bottom pointing to the phoenix it's got the blue at the east pointing towards the blue dragon at the top it's got the dark color pointing towards the turtle and on its left hand side or bottom in this photograph it's white pointing towards the tiger of the west so it's pointing in the direction of the figures that guard it, that represent it. And it's an incredibly strong element in Japanese and Chinese culture. I mean, if you follow Japanese sumo, you'll know that the Rishiki have the east and west ranks of different titles. So the Yokozuna East is higher ranking than the Yokozuna West. So it matters a lot also if you've ever seen Mahjong being played again. North, South, East, West are incredibly important elements in the culture. And they're very nicely done here. I mean, this pen is all about these four guardians of different directions. In some respect, that makes it a very ambitious pen because it's taking four incredibly powerful elements, each one of which could easily merit an entire pen. And they're putting all four into the pen in one place, plus the compass. So that makes this pen very ambitious. It's, it's a lot of stuff to put in one pen. And it's done really well. I mean, it would be very easy not to do this pen well there's so much on it that it could very easily look messy but i think the way they've delineated the creatures the dragon that stands up very nicely they've just worked out the right shading for the background to let the four gods really stand out as the key focuses without it being too complex and you know the phoenix the red of the phoenix is set against the black of the background at the bottom of the phoenix where it might be a little bit less interesting if it was black you then have the red of the fires coming up and in the same way um, the turtle at the top has the black background and the white tiger in the middle has the black and the gold so it's all set against the bit which emphasizes the most now i really like that you've got a bit of space at the bottom and the top there at the top you've got this water erupting and at the bottom you've got this fire which fills it out very nicely but the star of the show is the exquisite work on each of the shijin the shading the gradation of the red to the yellow on the phoenix the dragon scales are fabulous the turtle is fabulous the tiger these animals are done in breathtaking detail which makes this just an exquisite pen i mean it's absolutely exquisite and it's very difficult to balance such a thing well that brings us to the end of the review i hope you had as much fun as i did it's a really interesting pen there's a lot going on so thank you very much if you did like this content, then please like and subscribe to see more similar content, loads more reviews still to come. And I look forward to seeing you next time. So have a great day. Thank you very much and bye bye.